हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल यूट्यूब डी मिस्टिफाइड एंड चलिए शुरू करते हैं आज के द हिंदू न्यूज़पेपर एनालिसिस के साथ फॉर द इलेवेंथ ऑफ मई 2023 ट्वेंटी सो कर्नाटक का रिकॉर्ड 72.68 परसेंट इन टर्न आउट व्हिच इज़ अ प्रिटी गुड टर्न आउट सेवेंटी परसेंट मतलब वैसे ऑफ कोर्स इट शुड हैव बिन मोर बट फिर भी Out of the hundred percent population of seventy two point six eight percent people are coming out to vote. That means people are really expecting a good government. So let's see who will win. You know. <clears throat> okay. Government announces scheme to regulate cab aggregators, deliv- delivery service per- providers. Basically, the laborers, one of the laborers who are not under the cat, to don't come under the category of industrial workers or farmers. So there's a name for these. Ah, uh, you know, I am forgetting the name, but yes, the delivery people, the cab aggregator. it will reduce pollution and create new employment and economic growth opportunities so basically the driving laborers were of those laborers who are more engaged in driving because it was the motor vehicle aggregator scheme 2023 of course uh there's already a traffic problem and then there are cab drivers there are delivery persons i'm not blaming them but all that i'm saying is that if something can be done uh you know what happens is uh when we are not able to adjust anywhere matlab there has to be some place where we can you know make something do something okay tribal party plans to contest chatisgarh assembly election uh, you know uh, the tribes are also like the gond tribe for example are very famous and uh, they they are in a good quantity in madhya pradesh and chatisgarh so they are also planning that uh, it's good matlab when people from different sectors come for elections they stand up for elections what happens is they get a representation you know so it means that their wishes are fulfilled more there is a person to hear their mahabudas i'm not seeing that any other person or any other politician won't listen to them but if a person from that particular community becomes or comes in power what happens is it really affects it because that person knows what are the problems he he himself has and is living in those conditions so that really affects the decision making process heat wave in gujarat orange alert issued till may 12 so uh, temperature is likely to touch 44 degree till may 12 so there's a heat wave orange alert issued
Okay, here are not really. Delhi versus center the question is who has control over the bureaucrats that's a very very interesting tussle between the state government and the central government look Delhi is the capital of India that means Delhi is not the same place as any other cities of India you know, if you compare it with Mumbai, if you compare it with Ahmedabad, if you compare it with Gujarat, if you sorry, compare it with Indore, Kolkata, all these places, they don't stand at the same level as Delhi because of course Delhi is the national capital of India. So here, now the question is who has the upper hand, the center or the state government? So it was five years ago that a constitution bench of the Supreme Court advised the center acting through the lieutenant governor and the Delhi governor led by Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal to follow the path of collaborative federalism that you both have mixed powers. In some areas let it be the center, some areas let it be the state government and in some area let them both be in power. So that is what is a collaborative federalism. Now what happens is in Delhi for, for what happens is now the state government is of Arvind Kejriwal, okay, Malab, that is the state government. But the lieutenant governor, okay, the LG, that is a person of the central government. So there's usually, well, nowadays so that tussle between the governor and state governments is very, very common. It's like everyday business. So that is where the actual clash happens. Because there's a person who is in power from the center side and there's a person who is in power from the state, well, state government side. So there is the clash that happens and the lieutenant governor's work is basically to sign on the bills to make them laws to you know pass certain bills and laws and all those things so of course the lg is not just a ceremonial position lg has some responsibilities and duty to follow that is where you know the actual clash happened So now this tussle of course has reached the Supreme Court and today most likely the verdict will come. Uh, the verdict will come that whether the control over the bureaucrats, we know the bureaucrats right, the IAS officers and IFS officers, all these people. So whether the control over the bureaucrats in Delhi would be under the state government or would it be under the central government because of course Delhi is a different region. So yes. Let's see what the Supreme Court gives it verdict, gives the verdict. Be interesting. Arikompan again. The, I think Arikompan has become a star now. Every day, this elephant's photo and name are in the newspapers, and really, Madam, I think he has become a star now. And you must know, Madam. Now, do you must know what, who is Arikompan and all that stuff? Not that it's very important, but still. If it's coming in the newspaper again and again every day. Uh, instead of power play, it's power play. Maharashtra might see a fresh jump as the elections approach. So the Maharashtra elections are also approaching. And now again, it's let's see who is. Let's see who will be. The next Chief Minister of Maharashtra, will it be Ek Nakshan Day? Will it be Ajit Pawar Shah Pawar Khun? Matlab, you know, because there are prospectively like two, three, four parties 
it is Congress, there's BJP, then there's uh, the MVA Maha Vikas Agadi Dal. So let's see. A ground view of the Indian space policy. view of the Indian space policy 2023 so basically April 20 this year is a few days back what did ISRO Indian space research organization did was it released a report a write-up stating all the works that you know have been done in the past few years okay and how they are working on the Indian space policy. Now what is this Indian space policy? It has its own characteristics and traits but in general when we talk about this India, Indian space policy is basically a whole idea, a single theme line on which India would work in the sphere of space and uh, you know astrology and all that. Okay astronomy sorry because of course everybody have their own targets like what is a we can't just do everything or like that you know it can't be dismant it can't be very half sad half hazard it has to be like where is our primary focus our immediate focus in the nearest of future where is it that we need to focus whether we need to go get to mars whether we need to get to moon or what so that is what is indian space policy So of course until the early 1990s in whatever we talked about in India's space industry it was all about ISRO the government sector but then and in the private sector's uh, involvement was very very limited but now it has been done that um, private uh, channels and private companies have also been given the permission to launch satellites into the space so with that it is certainly the coming up of new age and it needs to be revised it needs to be dated it needs to be carefully followed because really uh, the the space policy of uh, not only the space policy but like the equipments the space equipments the technology that astronomy that that really works in the favor of a country, whether be it in the sphere of warfare, modernity, advancement, technological and scientific advancement, everything. Every birth or death should not be seen as success or failure of Project Cheetah. Now you must know that a few years back the government has started with certain projects that is Project Tiger, Project Elephant, uh, project uh, Hippopotamus, Project Cheetah, all these projects have been started so that the animals that are uh, that were in a very very less number in India could be taken care of, protected because these these are the animals basically who are targeted for their certain like maybe tiger for tiger skin and they were hunted and for pride and all that uh, and enjoyment and pleasure also and uh, not only tiger, but elephant for its tusk and skin and also cheetah for its skin and uh, hippopotamus and all those, all these animals. So they were getting lesser in number day by day. Right, so project cheetah was one such project which of course the name suggests is to increase the number of cheetahs in India. Now from South Africa, from Nigeria which is in South Africa, 
a cent of uh, a batch of 12 cheetahs was sent to india out of which i think two and three two or three have already died so here this article talks about that okay what if two three cheetahs are died that doesn't mean that we are failed at that project or if uh, one or two cheetahs have been born that means we have succeeded no we will succeed when the cheetahs will come back in particular numbers when when the number of cheetahs will be back to a certain number so you know that the death of one or two because uh, the government is facing a lot of criticism for this uh, for the death of these cheetahs so that doesn't mean look of course the government is also i think trying their best and the zoo authorities also and we don't know whose fault it was that the cheetahs have died but i think let's see and yes i do agree with the article we should not make snap judgments that okay out of the 12 cheetahs okay if two or three of them have died that means the it was a failure to bring bring them you know or we don't know why they did why they died and all those reasons Pokhran to a moment of profound epiphany. So in 1998, 25 years ago, it was the first time that in Pokhran, uh, the new, first nuclear test of in India was conducted. So of course it was a very, very proud moment for India to conduct its first nuclear test in 1998. And Pokhran too. But the but recently in 2023, when these uh, tests were conducted, uh, nuclear tests were conducted. Of course, at that time in 1998, when the when the nuclear test was conducted, uh, it attracted a lot of criticism. One of the reasons for that was, I am going to explain to you history ka part. I am going to explain to you. कि क्या हुआ था 1998 में जब न्यूक्लियर टेस्ट करे गए थे उस टाइम पर बहुत ही कम कंट्रीज थी और आई थिंक यूएस एंड रशिया मतलब यूएसएसआर और आई थिंक इट वाज इट वाज रशिया बाय दैट टाइम इन 1990 यूएसएसआर वाज ब्रोकन डाउन टू रशिया सो रशिया यूएसए बहुत ही कम और फ्यू मोर कंट्रीज वर देयर जिनके पास न्यूक्लियर पावर थी ऐसे में जब इंडिया ने अपना न्यूक्लियर टेस्ट करा सो ऑफ कोर्स द बिगर पावर्स बिकॉज दे डिन वॉन्ट एनी अदर कंट्री टू हैव न्यूक्लियर वेपन्स लाइक दे डू बिकॉज इट वॉज ऑफ कोर्स मैटर ऑफ सुप्रीमेसी सो दे क्रिटिसाइज इंडिया की वाई आर यू हैविंग वाई यू वाई डू यू हैव न्यूक्लियर वेपन न्यूक्लियर टेस्ट इन ऑल दैट सो एट दैट टाइम ऑफ कोर्स दे वर वेरी फ्यूरियस दे वॉन्टेड इंडिया टू स्टॉप बट now this time that we have done it's really a moment of profound epiphany pride that we have done something we have survived so far without using them so it's good the perilous lives of indian workers The rate of death has increased. That's a sad news to hear. That's really, मतलब people have been overburdened with work, injuries, and conditions. Living conditions are not good at all. So that are some of the reasons that deaths in the labor class are more. We should of course be stopped by the government, no doubt.
न्यूज सिक्योरिटी असिस्टेंस पैकेज वन पॉइंट टू इन डॉलर बिलियन दिस मच इज द मनी दैट यू एस विल गिव टू यूक्रेन this to you must know na that russia has attacked ukraine and uh, many of the countries are of course or like for example us are mainly criticizing russia for that because us and russia why not they have to have a fight मतलब वट हैपन्स इज इट्स लाइक ऑफकोर्स वन पावर विल फील थ्रेटन देर वॉज अ टाइम इन यू एस एंड यू एस एस आर वर टो टू टो हेड टू हेड सो यू नो हेड टू हेड टो टू टो सो ना ऑफकोर्स अगेन यू एस वॉन्ट वॉन्ट दैट रशिया बी द सुप्रीम पावर द इन इन मतलब इन अ यूनिपोलर वर्ल्ड तो If Russia attacks Ukraine, if it captures Ukraine, if Ukraine is under Russia's control, that means, of course, there are many resources that are under Ukraine's control. Russia becomes more powerful. So yes, U.S. is the main country in criticizing Russia for attacking at Ukraine, and even that, I mean, it's not good. It's it's just that killing people, warfare is something that should not be done at all. But then again, as I say, I always like to analyze things from both the perspectives. Just let's not give a straight judgment. Okay, let's see if Russia has attacked Ukraine. We don't even know that it is a fact. But let's assume on borders that okay, Russia attacked Ukraine. So there can be reasons from Russia's side also why did it attack Ukraine? Yes, the pricing of 18 to 57 and Mirat's role in the first war. for india's independence mirat of course was a very very important district during the 1857 mutiny that happened you know and uh, it was one of the main areas where the mutiny was very very violent very widespread like delhi mirat lucknow are few places because it was not very well spread in mirat also there were many soldiers who gathered in mirat and started slaughtering the britishers so Now the story you must know. Shall let me repeat the story for you. 1857 की mutiny क्यों हुई थी? ऐसे तो बहुत सारे reasons थे ही सही. Okay, the Britishers were overpowering them. The Britishers were trying to take control over the Indians. In Bengal, people had already seen what was happening and all that stuff. But one of the immediate reasons of the 1857 mutiny was cartridges. Now what happened was that the Britishers. There was a rumor going around. Now we don't know whether it was a rumor, whether it was true or not. But there was. Let's let's address it as a rumor or a story for right now because we are not very sure whether it was true or not. So there was a rumor going on that the new cartridges, you know, for the, the like the bullets that had to be uh, put in the rifles and guns, that the Britishers have introduced. now they had a cover and that cover had to be broken from your teeth from your mouth like you like they had to pull it from their teeth okay from their using their mouth now there was a rumor that the cover was made of leather it was made of the fat of cows and pigs now for hindus eating cows was unacceptable and for muslims eating pigs was unacceptable so both of the groups were furious because they were like ye jaise hamara dharm bhrasht kar raha hai totally matlab how can we do something like this eating fat cow eating cow fat for hindus and eating pig fat for muslims is a very very big deal 
सो दैट इज़ वन ऑफ द इमीडिएट रीजन कि जैसे ये न्यूज़ स्प्रेड हुई एवरीबडी वज लाइक द ब्रिटिशर्स हैव टू गो आउट एंड देवर अदर रीजन ऑल्सो विच यू कैन रीड इन डिटेल मतलब एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन म्यूटनी के तो बहुत सारी चीज़ें यू कैन फाइंड ऑन इंटरनेट वेरी वेरी ईजिली सो यस देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स बट As I always say about these quizzes, just read these questions, leave it. The next day, read the questions again, and this time with their answers. So that way, you will quickly, you know, know down the information in your mind. The word of the day is straddle. It's a non-committal or equivocal position. The act of sitting or standing astride. Rub span, arrange the plants, straddle the. इंटायर स्टेट स्टाइल मतलब स्पैन कर स्पैन करना रेंट पूरी एक उसको कवर करते हुए तरीके से एक स्पैन में द प्लान स्ट्राइडल द इंटायर स्टेट और मे बी द अरावली स्ट्राइडल द स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान सो कैंड ऑफ दैट वे द हिमालया स्ट्राइडल द स्टेट ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश मतलब एक पूरी उनकी स्पैन सिक्वेंसेस है The railway police force launched a crackdown and arrested touts and retailers of illegal software who were selling illegal railway tickets. The violence that was created by the pro-Khalistani people in the Indian Embassy in London, Indian High Commission in uh, United Kingdom, this really took a toll between the relationship of India and London, India, UK. That was wrong. Despite opposition, railway will close its printing press. Do you know what is this Sena versus Sena battle? Shiv Sena is a political party of Uddhav Thackeray, Eknath Shinde. All these people belong to the Shiv Sena. Now, recently, what happened was Eknath Shinde broke away from the party with few of its MLAs and became the Prime Minister. Now, Eknath Shinde claims that their party is the real Shiv Sena, and uh, Uddhav Thackeray, of course, claims that they, their party is the real Shiv Sena. So now this battle was taken to the Supreme Court, and let's see what will what verdict will it give on Sena versus Sena that who is the real uh, political party Shiv Sena who belongs to that.
Hong Kong bans foreign lawyers from national security cases. Of course, how can foreign lawyers, you know, lawyers from different nations work on security cases, national, you know, cases of uh, at from the national security matter? So Hong Kong removed them. Iran is on a you know execution spree. It kills seven more people. Imran sent to a day remand. PM's house attacked. Um, Imran Khan, who was the former Pakistan Prime Minister, has been arrested. There's a protest going on in Pakistan. The situation we just discussed yesterday, why it was happening, why all that stuff. So. Thank you for watching. Come back soon.